You wanna know how to make a fortune in today's ever-changing market? Wow, what a shift we've had over the last few weeks and few months as the markets and the crypto and the whole world is just changing. Even the real estate market is changing. And I want to uh, give you the tools, make sure that you are as recession-proof as possible. In fact, in the video today, I'm gonna to be sharing a little bit of how to shift your uh, marketing and shift your mindset and shift your deals to make sure that the uh, upcoming market and the shifts and the recession and everything that's happening around us doesn't knock you out, only makes you richer. Cause I assure you of this one thing, in the changing market, there's gonna be people who get wiped out. It's gonna be the, the rich who get richer. And I want you to be on that side of the fence. So I want you to have the tools to know how to take a full opportunity in the upcoming market. Have the tools to help a bunch of people get what they need in the shifting market with their homes so that you can make a fortune in doing so. First thing we have to make sure that we do is surround ourselves by smart people who are doing it the right way. You know, when I was 21 and started on this real estate investing journey, the very first thing I did, actually had to borrow the money to get to us live seminar, was to put myself in the room with people who were doing the business and doing it right, and so that I could begin emulating and imitating that to grow a portfolio. I was broke, I was in medical debt, didn't know what the heck I was gonna do with my life. And then I found real estate, and I found how to do it the right way to make ourselves as ref recession proof as possible. So I want you to do the same. Number one, put yourself around the right people. Number two, make sure that you have all the tools possible in your tool belt to be finding motivated sellers. It doesn't matter what the market's doing, up, down, good, bad, there's always people who need to sell their houses. Sometimes it's a lot more than others, as those of you who a few years ago went through the uh, downtime, you see all the challenges that happen with sellers. And again, while it wiped some people out, others just simply got way richer and helped a lot of people while doing it. And so I want you to be in that position, have your expertise in knowing how to find sellers. But equally, almost more importantly, I might add, know how to structure deals. Make sure you know how to talk to sellers, how to ask the right questions and find out exactly what it is that they're needing. You know exactly what the seller's needing and you can provide the solution to their challenge, you can make a fortune. And more importantly, make an impact. You know, I love doing business where it's an opportunity to make a massive impact to help a lot of people get what they need, get what they want, and at the same time, be able to make a lot of money doing it. So make sure you get the right training, get the right knowledge to be able to talk to sellers, to be able to provide the right solutions that not only get them where they need to go, but also makes you a lot of money. Then I want you to make sure that you are in the position, in the place. I mentioned, make sure you're around the right people, making sure you know how to attract motivated sellers and quality leads. Now I mentioned making sure that you know how to talk to sellers and structure deals. Lastly, and most importantly, know how to structure the sell of the deal. So after you buy it, gotta have an exit strategy, right? You buy a house, know your exit strategy. In fact, that's one of the uh, rules I always talk about is knowing exactly what you're going to do. So I do Airbnb, I love Airbnb, short-term rentals. And I make sure every one of my short-term rentals is bought in such a way that if, God forbid, the short-term rental opportunity goes away with that property tomorrow, I can still make a lot of money on the deal. Why? Because I made sure going in that it was structured properly. So make sure that you know your exit strategy. Is it short-term rental? Is it lease option? Is it a rental? I don't like that idea. In fact, if you still got rentals, uh, you need to be following and seeing how we enjoy the cash flow of a landlord without the headaches and help a lot of people again while doing so. Helping people obtain their dream of home ownership. Is it gonna be lease option? Are you gonna fix and flip it? Again, one of my least favorite ways to do it. Perhaps though, you're gonna wholesale. My favorite strategies are number one, right now, STR, short-term rentals. Number two is wholesaling. And number three, well, I should say number two actually is lease options. Number three, uh, third favorite is wholesaling. So what is your exit strategy going to be? Know your exit strategy so that going in, you structure the deal right, so you're always recession proof and the deal can always make sense. I commonly get the question, what if the economy tanks and values go down? Got two answers for that. Number one, if you didn't write big checks, unless you're getting a bigger one back in a fairly short amount of time, 
and you didn't go personally guarantee a bunch of debt, you're in a good position. Number two though, have a philosophy that you can cash flow out of most challenges. You can cash flow out of most challenges if you bought the deal right and you knew your exit strategy going in. You can make sure that going out that you didn't guarantee some astronomical promise that you can't keep when the market shifts a little bit. Make sure you protect yourself. Make sure you protect those around you. Make sure you are in the right rooms with the right knowledge to not only survive, but thrive through this massive shifting market. You are loved. Subscribe, like for the YouTube algorithms, and more importantly, for more great content on how you can make a fortune in today's real estate investing market.